What's up, y'all? This your man Bobby Washington from Bobby Washington Vlog, and I'm on the phone right now in my car on my lunch break with my buddy Dilly Dilly O T Two K. Say what's up to the people, yo. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the welcome to the video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy because what you're about to listen to is going to be something stimulating for your day. You want to pay attention to what we're about to say. Yep, he see, he hit the nail on the head. We about to say something that's very stimulating. Probably gonna be mind bogging for some other some uh, other people on YouTube who've been doing YouTube for a long time. Um, but yeah, we've been watching this girl Dodash, you know. Yep. And uh, Dillo's in Atlanta. I'm in Florida. And in Florida, yep. I'm down here doing a couple of different things. I'm actually I'm doing uh, let's see, Doordash, right? I'm doing that just like Miss Dodash does. I'm also doing yep. deliver, deliver that, which is catering. Um, I also do Uber Eats, and inside my Uber Eats bag, I got all my CDs. Mm. I sell my CDs. I do my CDs about four to six hours out of the day, and I and I do yep. the, uh, the driving for the food stuff about two to three hours. So I'm working about eight hours, sometimes nine hours a day, you know, getting that money like everybody else. Um, but what I was talking to Dilio about today was, man, you know, DoorDash is making a whole bunch of money, more money. Just turn mm -hmm. her camera on, bro. Yeah. Am I right, Dilio? Yeah, you're right. She turns on the camera, hangs it up in her car, just starts talking and sets the camera on the countertop in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Just goes to work. No production, no ring light, no box light. Yeah. Just no even look down mic, no even production. Just just turns it on and goes. No hair don't be done, face no makeup. Nope. So so nope. Me, so me not shaving today is, is okay. It's okay. Absolutely. It's the Wild West. You can do no rules. No rules. Not not now see that Dodash. And I and I love her for this, man. She she bringing she she bringing the real to the YouTube, man. Yeah. And, and and I think I think we all need it, man. We're in a time where we're hurting, you know, we need mm -hmm. we need money. I've I've seen so many evictions just where I live at alone, at least eleven this year in twenty twenty four. Since COVID, man, right. it's been going downhill, bro. Haircuts went up to fifty dollars. I went to cut yeah, my hey, I went to cut my man. ball, so I ain't gotta pay fifty dollars. I'm not even right. thin, I'm not even thinning. I just cut it ball because yeah. I can do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so True. where do we come? Where do we come from? Our background dealer. We come from a background of of uh, professional video quality. You know, great audio. We both are R and B singers and producers and engineers, right? Yeah, that's right. You also have a job in tech, technical. Uh, yeah. Stuff, right. Yeah, a job in tech support, field tech work, IT stuff. But just to pick it back on what you're saying, we both come from backgrounds where we produce where we get equipment, where we get sound, we get microphones, we get lights, we get stands, we get expensive cameras, we're at high resolution, we got lenses, we got boxes, yeah. all that stuff, we come from all of that. I have a full cell background, so I really came from a lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. and it's like, well, we could just put that up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. I mean, because we, we, I mean, coming up, you know, like you said, you went to Full Sail, I went to Full Sail as well. I went online, yeah. I didn't go in, in person, you went in person in Orlando. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we all, we also studied people like Film Riot's page back 10 years yeah. ago. And, and we were trying to level up to that production. So I spent four grand on, on my cameras. You know, I got the, the SLH cameras, I got two of those, right? Um, yeah, I also shoot right. film for Tubi Television, so they come in handy for that. But for YouTube, Right now, after watching DoDash, I think it's overkill, bro. I think everybody, I think all of you should just turn your cell phone on in your car, in your wherever you at in your house, outside by the by the lake, by the park, doing your your homie's hair, braiding his hair, whatever you want to do, just turn the camera on because this is content and this is real, right? right? And 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 and, yeah. and and we all can help and heal each other. It's kind of like therapy, you know what I'm saying? Why pay a therapist? If you go to YouTube. Yeah, you know, you're going to get some comments, you know, might get a good and bad. But here's the thing about that. Yeah. When you just turn on the phone yeah. and you just start doing your thing, you know how fast you can create content that way, which goes to another point. The one who makes the most content wins. You Ooh. can shoot four, you can shoot 10 videos in your car a day just by turning it on without having to worry about all the extra equipment, batteries and everything else. Because it's going to take time to set that up, do your content, and then you got to put that stuff away. Wow. So, with this format, with what you're doing right now, you can just hit record, do your thing, give you a title, upload, record, do your thing, and the algorithm gonna do what it wanna do. But I do know that you cast a wider net with more content than less. 
Mm. So right now, it's no more about quality. It's about quantity. Yeah, quantity. We don't flip the script again. Right, and I come from going for quality. Right. But quality doesn't quality doesn't have the same competitive edge that quantity does on these online platforms. I'm all digging in my teeth. I'm all digging in my teeth on camera and everything. <laughs> got the well, hey, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Just but, having a meal. But you know what's funny, bro? It's, it, 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 it kind of filtered into the music first, man. If you if you remember, no, not even that. Let's go yeah. back. It, it happened in the movies. If you remember Blair Witch, Blair Witch Project, that right. film. And what was the other one after that? The other one about the um about the the haunted Ooh. house, the house. Uh, oh man, Shoot, I'm trying to remember. Start it, yeah. with a P. Start uh, Parliament. Uh, uh, paranormal activity. Yeah. Paranormal activity. Now I remember the first two or three, they were done cheaply, like Blair Witch Project. Just they picked up a camera and just started doing their thing. The minute they added professional production into that job, that whole franchise went down. Right. I didn't even like the professional right. one. I like I like I like the raggedy one. That's right. Yeah. And and, and why is that? You know why? And in music the same way. Now music is something different. Like like it's, it's no different. I should say. Right yeah. now they they you got a phone. They got band lab on their phone. No professional yeah, light. And they putting the records out. Right. Well, people want to feel good. They don't. I mean, nobody really. Nobody's trying to be Earth, Wind, and Fire anymore. And on top of that, people ain't got money to pay for Earth, Wind, and Fire type music right now. <laughs> and on top of that, you ain't even really got to sing lyrics. Like you can just mumble. You can just mumble a home and all to and take care of the rest for you. And you got yourself a record. And now it's about what people feel. Now, how do you feel listening to it versus the, versus being uh, inspired? I mean, it's just it's it's just vibes now. It's fun. And on top of that, if it's fun to mumble on the track, people gonna do it. And it's even gonna be more fun for people to just listen to that mumble and just have fun. People don't be really be caring like that. That's crazy, dude. That's yeah. crazy, bro. That's crazy. So y'all so y'all hear what's up, man. You know, um, you know, and the thing about YouTube, man, it don't even take much, you know. You they only want you to have what, yeah. a thousand, a thousand um subscribers. That's it, a thousand subscribers and um what, four thousand watch hours. I mean, y'all, right. you can do that within a month or so. You know what I'm saying? With, with this type of content, you can pump out a bunch of content. You know, if you're working, you know, do it on your lunch break. If your boss allows you to do it while, you, while you're there at work, do it while you're working. Talk about your day. Right. Talk about the fun things at work. Talk about the downside uh, of, the, of yeah. the job. You know what I mean? Talk about, you know, uh, something that happened, you know, uh, uh, that was crazy. I was off the wall, whatever. You know, just talk about your life because somebody right. can... Somebody can relate and, and, and it resonate with some people, many people, because we have things people that's watching YouTube. So, so yeah. somebody going to fuck with you, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, and here's the thing. Uh, what It's not about necessarily really the niche anymore. It's about you as a person and people connecting with you and how you do. And yeah. and unfortunately, some people feel uncomfortable with that, but that's the real thing. You want the audience built around you being in your natural state as much as possible so that you can do it over the long term, not for just one month, not for just a, a year, but two years, three years, four years, where you have an audience that is built around you as a person. Yeah. And so it, it's all about that now. It's not longer about trying to tweak an algorithm. It's, it, you really have to build up your audience. The only way to do that is to get that content out there. So if you want 4,000 hours of watch time, and if you want 100, uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 4, hours of watch time, you gotta have the content there. It's going to be inevitable for you to, for you to reach out. You do a hundred videos, man, or thirty yeah. videos. You do videos every day. You're inevitably going to get there mm. without even trying. Let me ask you this: Does everybody have to have the same type of personality as far as a bubbly, wild, crazy personality like DoDash has? Or, or no, I, I don't think so because not DoDash isn't everybody's cup of tea. Okay. Okay. You know, so if you want somebody, I mean, I think, I think kind of speaking of going, yeah, yeah, it kind of gets people's attention. But right. I also think that, that DoorDash isn't everybody's cup of tea. Right. But she has her niche market, which is great for her. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's and connecting that's a blessing. with people. And, I, and I'm, I'm proud of that her. That is a blessing. Because she's she a black sister doing her thing, man. I'm proud of you. So, yeah. so what I would yeah. like, what I would like to see in her community, though, at the same time, if she could probably mention, um, to the people to follow her audience as well, the ones that start the channel. If she can probably make, yeah. hey, follow this person, give a list of people to follow. That way, everybody can make some of this money, man, and everybody can can share in it. I think, I mean, that's what I would do if I had that type of tribal community, because that's what it is. It's like a tribe of community that she has, because yeah. 
her videos, let's say she has a thousand uh, 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 views, right? She'll have no less than mm -hmm. 400, 500 comments within an hour. Um, right. And if she had 5,000 views, she'll have about 1,200 comments to that 5,000 views. Now, if you see those, that yeah. ratio is a great, it's a nice ratio. If you go to somebody who don't have a real tribal following, but they had a great, just a great video, they'll have like mm -hmm. 7 million views and 200 comments. That's how you know they right. already have a core following. And, and, right. and we know that the algorithm is not favoring subscription anymore. Like subscribe, you might not even exactly. hit that button no more. It doesn't make it, it's not even relevant because I subscribed to Film Riot mm -hmm. 10 years ago and asked me the last time yeah. I saw a Film Riot on my feed. I, I don't even see their content yeah. unless I type in Film Riot and go search for their content, which is terrible. Right. Yeah. You know? And that, and that, yeah, uh, and that, and that uh, bell button is ridiculous because I'm not going to turn that bell button on, on nobody's video because it's going to eat up my damn iPhone. My iPhone battery don't even last long as it is. So you turn right, that right. on, it forced me to turn on my notifications on my on my uh, iPhone, and I'm not doing that. Yeah. It, it kills my battery. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, no one, no one wants notifications turned on unless it's something very important to them. Um, they're not going to do a notifications thing, and they're also going to be... Um, and that's the interesting thing about it. I, th I think for a long time, and I've kind of fell into this doctrine of... If you're going to be making content, you got to make content that's what four people are searching for. You can do that, but if people want to see what you're saying next on your YouTube channel and it shows up, they're not going to be searching for it because they come to YouTube every day yeah. and they're going to want to look at that content. So this is what I this is what I want to say too, and you just hit it right there. You just, you just got me on track. Um, mm -hmm. In order to to make money and to be wealthy in life, man, I heard this from a wealthy a wealthy individual. He said you mm -hmm. have to hit the pain points. You have yeah, to you have to give something that people need that some people are hurting for, and everybody need what right now? Relief from pain. They need, right, and they need money. Money will help. Money. You. They need money right yeah. now, and YouTube is a free outlet because you have a cell phone to just turn on your cell phone, record yourself in every moment possible. You know, as long as you don't violate the, the terms, don't come on here butt naked or nothing crazy. Right. But you know, right. you know, I see some girls half naked. That that's okay. <laughs> but you can't come butt naked. But as long as you don't violate the terms and say crazy stuff, um, right. you'll be fine. Just turn on the camera, record whatever it is that you do. Whatever you do, even though you think it may not be something that we want to see or important for somebody to see, trust me, somebody want to see it. You know, because I mm -hmm. search, I search for things. You know, like how to cook a, a you know, some rice. Because I don't know how to make rice, so I got to look up how to cook rice. You know, I forget. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know, it comes natural to my girl because my girl, you know, she she's been doing the cooking since we've been together, and she's been cooking since yeah. she was a kid. I don't know how to cook, mm -hmm. so I gotta search for everything I want to cook. Now you, Dilio, you know how to cook. Yeah. D do you search YouTube to find things you want to cook, or do you just know how to do it? Go ahead, Bobby. Yeah. Do you search YouTube um, to learn how to cook the things you cook, or you just know how to cook? Uh, part of it was. Uh, YouTube and the other part was uh, trial and error. Wow. Learning how to count calories, learning how to prepare food with the calorie to, to create a calorie deficit. Yeah, and hey, that's another thing YouTube could be used for, man. Almost like a like a uh, like a uh, um, a cheering club, like a like a like 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 cheering you guys. Yeah. Like like if you're trying to lose weight, why not do it together in a group of people on YouTube? You guys all talk about your, your week or your day. If you did your exercise, if you walked, if you ran, if you ate the right food, if you messed up today, don't feel bad. Kind of like help each other get back on that on that right track. Yeah, that's it. You know, so you can it. be yeah. used for a lot of things, man. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Right. So, in a nutshell, we're gonna end this video. Um, but in a nutshell, we're saying that you don't you don't have to have the most expensive camera. You don't need the that's most right. expensive lights. You can sit in your car if you ain't got a car. You can sit outside on the step and make a video. That's it. That's it. And what, what you want to add to that, Dilly? No, I, I think that is the nail on the head. Turn on the camera, just do your content, and do it without stopping. Do not stop. <laughs> so, every, so how many a day? Every day, once a day, twice a day? At least once a day. I mean, if you can go to work seven days, a, you know, five days, seven days a week, you can make a video seven, five days a week. So at least one video a day, y'all. If you do more, even yeah. better, because the more you do, the more opportunity you have to make some money. All right. Well, y'all get over to Delio Tito K. I'll put his uh, link in the description as well. It's your man Bobby Washington. Please subscribe to my channel as well, man. And you know, and uh, like I said, you you follow me and put in the comment. You subscribe. I'm, I'm gonna follow you back and subscribe if you're a part of my tribe. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Peace.
that's where it is, Dave.